Life Web Browser is a whole new way to browse the web. It gives you the ability to swipe through websites just like you already do with your photos. Life also introduces a new feature called Q, which lets you easily add clicked web pages, such as news articles, to a queue for later viewing. I'll open the Life Web Browser by tapping here. To go through my favorite websites, I simply swipe to them. Once you move to a new window, Life immediately starts downloading the next site to your left or right to anticipate your next move. Because of this, you almost never see a loading screen. To move between websites, you can swipe, tap on a slice, or use the navigational buttons. Now I'll swipe to dig.com and show you how the queue feature works. There are usually many dig articles I want to read, but navigating back and forth between dig and the articles can really be annoying. Q solves this problem with flying colors. I can turn it on by tapping the Q button on the top right. And now any link I press, whether it's a photo or an article, will be added behind the current window in my queue. To visit my queued pages, I simply tap on the arrows. Here's the first queued site, here's the other. Queued pages stay with the window you queued them on. So I just queued some pages on Dig. If I want to move to Facebook, I can tap here and look at the bottom. The queued pages went with Dig. To remove a queued page, just tap the X. I'll remove both queued pages. To add a new web browser window, simply tap on the plus button. Notice how we haven't used the keyboard the entire time because I surf my favorite websites 80% of the time and life automatically loads them for me. Our address bar is smart and knows if you're trying to Google something or go directly to a website. I'll go to CNN.com. Notice how Google suggestions are built right in. Now I'll press the home button, reopen life. Now CNN is added to the mix. To add CNN to my bookmarks, I can tap the bookmarks button and tap the plus button. Notice we take a thumbnail picture of the site when you add it. You can drag them around to organize them. Or tap edit and the X to delete. We've also built in one touch email. I can tap here and notice the compose pop-up comes up and automatically puts the URL you're on in the email. All I have to do now is say who I want to send this to and tap send. It uses the built-in mail client to send the email. Very simple. To remove a window, simply tap the minus and confirm. Pressing the full screen button gives you more pixels to view your website. You can swipe with three fingers to go back and forward in a window. You can also swipe with four fingers to move between windows. Everything you've seen also works beautifully in landscape mode. Please contact us for any questions or suggestions by going to our website, itsabouttimeproducts.com. Thank you and enjoy using the Life Web Browser.